Hello, amazing students. Let's talk about your next project. So for this project, you'll be choosing an animal from your biome from your previous project, and we are going to be turning into colorful art. Just look at the examples in the Google slide presentation I've shared. Now for this, I have chosen a fox. As you can see, I have a square artboard that I have sized appropriately, and I have locked that layer down. The next steps that I would do is add a few layers and then rename those layers to different parts of the fox. So for instance, you could see that I have the front ear here. I've got neck, face, nose, mouth, and then layer six and seven I just added and they'll get names like maybe front of neck or back ear um, to utilize later. So right now you can see that I have already started part of that front ear. And what I was doing was just tracing shapes. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to turn that off, lock that layer down. Okay, I am going to unlock the nose slash mouth. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in and I am on the nose mouth layer. You can see that it's highlighted. And as I build shapes, what I will be doing is having my layer panel open and also my swatch library. So I'm going to come here, color properties, and I'll be using the bright colors for today. And you can see my bright colors right here. I'm going to make it a little bigger so I can see more of the colors because I'll be grabbing from these guys as I go. Okay, so once again, I'm using my pencil tool for this. So I just need to press N, which is the shortcut for our pencil tool. So I can just click on N and I'm ready to go. Okay, and I'm actually going to start with the nose and I'm going to start with the darker colors. So I'm going to start with this front nostril. You can see it kind of goes up into that shape. I'm going to make that dark. I'm going to go to the next one, a little bit over here. Once again, I'm just going to make it dark for consistency. And as you can see, I currently have a stroke on. I'm going to turn that off and then I can actually go back later and turn the stroke off in other places. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to do the shape down here. And I don't want to go fast with this. I want to be able to take my time. Now I'm going to start to use other colors at this point. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool again. I'm going to do this dark shape in the middle of the nose. Okay, and I'm going to make that purple. And if I open up my layers panel now, you can see the paths I've already created. I'm actually going to drag that purple underneath. Okay, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to turn the stroke off of this guy right here because it's bothering me. Okay, so that stroke is off. I'm going to click N again to get my pencil tool back. And I'm ready to roll. Okay, there's a little highlight here. I'm going to get this guy put in. And notice how I'm going over the top of some of my other shapes. And I want to do that so I don't see any of the fox through my project. Okay, next shape. Let's do this side part of the nose. Maybe under the highlight as well. Okay, and I'm going to be pulling that down under the nostril. Okay, I'm going to do some more of that area. Okay, this time I'm going underneath. Maybe do a teal this time, and I'm going to be pulling it down under that area again. Okay, and I'll be working with the other side. So the big thing with this is just to build layer on top of layer and just make sure that it's organized according how you want to see it. Now, if something seems out of place, no problem. You can grab your selection tool and you can move it back and forth and around until you feel like it is in the right place. Okay, and on to the next shape. So this time I'm going to be doing the top of the nose. And go underneath and come back around. I'm going to give it some pink. Oh, it's a little too bright for me. Mm, it's not too bad. 
Okay, and I'll be pulling it under my highlight. Okay, looking pretty good. And I've got one more part I'm going to finish up with the nose. Okay, and this little section over here. Maybe a darker pink. Yep, and I'll pull it underneath the highlight. Okay, so I have a nose. Now, the other things I'm going to start doing is tackling the fur. Now, you can see the fur is longer in places and lighter in places, but that's okay. So, here we go. I've got my pencil tool. I'm going to start with these kind of lighter shapes. And I'm going to just make sure I am giving it some lines and textures to make it more interesting. So I'm going to head to the orange and I'm pulling it underneath my nose. Okay, ready for the next one. And I'm following just the shadows that I am seeing on my screen. Okay, and I'm going under some shapes that I've already created. So I can easily pull them down and around and they'll start to build on top of each other. Okay, so let me go down to the other side of the nose. So if we look at this area here, and I'm trying to think like which direction would this fur normally be going on this animal while I do this. Maybe I'll use a dark orange again. And then just make sure it is underneath my nose. Okay, and make sure it is pulled into place because I want it underneath. Now, if you find that maybe you went a little too small, you can always use these pulls from either side to change your shape up a bit. Also, if you feel like you missed a tone, for example, there was a darker tone in here I should have put in, I can easily add another color, another shape, maybe slightly darker, and then just make sure it's pulled into the right position. Now, as I go, I will keep building this fur and it's okay if I've got hundreds of these little layers the more layers that are there are the more interesting it is your primary focus though should be to make sure that you are heading in the right direction with these because I find a lot of the times you know people rush through it and they don't make big enough areas or they make way too big of areas so you need to find a happy medium okay so you guys can't really tell but there's a cute little tongue sticking out right here i'm gonna make that Oop. sorry started on top of my shape which was a little tough now the pencil tool has this feature that if you go back over a shape, it will kind of change the shape you created. So I wanted to avoid that. So I started this shape kind of outside where I would normally put it and I made it a little large, but that's okay. Okay, let me just, I'm hopping all around, but that's okay. Right now I'm just kind of making sure I'm going in the directions I need to. Oh, lost my braids. Make sure I pull it underneath. Now if you feel like you're getting too many shapes in an area, you can always add a new layer and change it. Maybe this is the whiskers or the cheek, whatever you'd like to go with. don't like that. I'm going to press control V to back up. Okay, 
do this side of the cheek. Make sure it's pulled under appropriately. Okay, and now I'll probably continue down the chin and the mouth. Like I said before, just make sure you take your time. There's really no wrong way to do this. Just try to go in small steps. Don't make big giant leaps. I'm trying to grab some of these darker tones. I'm going to make sure I just pull it underneath. There we go. And I can keep going. Now when you're making your shapes, please remember that once you start drawing it, when you get back towards that area that you started, you're gonna see next to your pencil a little circle. That means your shape is connected and that's what you want. Okay guys, let me know if you have any questions and good luck.